But in normals I almost never play AD. If I play AD I play like new champions on bot. So recently that was Talia and Soraka were champions I tried to learn on bot lane. For that I had stuff like Syndra, uh, Vagar, Oriana, Yasuo, Sigs. I mean I played Sigs a while, a while back, so that wasn't very much recently. But Oriana was last year for example during Worlds I was trying to learn Oriana because back then Syndra was really broken. She still is, but back then she was even more broken and I was scared of people flexing it bot, so I was trying to prepare a counter for Cinder bot in Oriana. And I inted every single Solka game. So after that I realized like when I do these kind of like missions of trying to learn new champs, it's probably better if I just do normal games because one, I don't int nine other people that are probably trying to win, and two, it's easier for me because when I try to learn a new champion in ranked, I feel like I think a lot about winning the game and when I play normal I can basically just fuck around with going for plays that might or not, might not work and builds that are absolutely terrible without having someone down, like breathing down my neck about it, you know? Like imagine I did anything because I wasn't really trolling the game we just played, right? I was kind of, I would say I was trying to win, but I really, I was fuming anyways. So then imagine I'm playing Oriana with a random fucking build going for random fucking plays, then yeah, he would probably come knock my door tomorrow so I think it's better if I just keep that stuff for normal games where people don't get as butthurt if they lose because I don't care myself but I know a lot of people play rank to win so I shouldn't get in the way of that and anyways I have high MMR in normal games so we play against um, I play against good players it's very rare I get a really bad normal game I mean you could say that that's why you have a smurf but don't you think then you ruin the game for another nine people just in a lower elo like regardless of elo it's the same right people's mindsets or should be the same. So I think normal is just a nice middle ground. At least normal draft, it feels like people still care, but they don't care to the extent where they will haunt you for the rest of your life if you make something stupid. I hope we'll go back to stage soon. It's really boring to play from here. It's certainly not the same. No hype, no anything. Like obviously it's hype, but it's not anywhere near to the same extent as when you're playing in the studio or in a big, big arena for playoffs or worlds or whatever. So hopefully soon, like playing the finals here was super fucking weird. Not something I'd want to do again. But I think for sure in, what is that, uh, early September, we should be fine, right? To go in the studio, so at least that's something. Uh, I think it depends on the team, if they're better at home or on stage, but I feel like we're more than fine on stage. We have a lot of experience in our team. And I personally play a lot better on stage, I would say, than I do in, in here or at, like at home. In here, is that the right English? Whatever. You know what I mean, like either here or in studio. I think I play better in studio. I think some players, probably the newer ones, are fine here or better here. I need the I need the blood flowing, you know? That's when I perform at my best, I think. Like the bigger the game, the better I always feel like I play like finals and stuff. I always feel like I'm smurfing, so. For the most part, don't get me wrong here. I've entered a lot of times too. It's just, I feel like when my blood is flowing, then I usually play really well. So hopefully, yeah, some playoffs and stuff is back at the studio at least. I know Malmö is not happening, which sucks, of course, because now it's going to take forever until we go to Sweden again, and I don't know if I'm going to be playing it forever, but hopefully. It would be cool. Stockholm was amazing. I'm sure Malmö would be as well. I would rather see them uh, rework AD carries than release more newer ones. Because it's just going to happen what happened with Aphelios and Senna, where the older ones are so outdated that they are not playable anymore, and the newer ones are so... What's the opposite of outdated? Like fresh, I don't know, 2020, that they will be always played. I feel like it's just better if they start reworking shit instead so you can actually play your nostalgic champions, right? Like if I could play Vayne every game, I'd, oh, I'd love it, man. Oh, that'd be something. Which I can't because she's fucking outdated. Like just rework them already so I can play them again. Like I don't mind so much them reworking champions. Like I know it will suck because like for, for example, when I lost Graves, it was it was tough, right? Where when we when we lost Graves, when I lost Graves, it was not my Graves, but when we lost Graves, it was tough, right? In in, in the beginning, but after a while, it's fine. Like it's it's all right. I'd rather see them do that than just continuously release new champions, because I actually want to play some of the older stuff that I used to play like back back in the day, you know. And give me a new Sivir, for example. I know she got like already sort of reworked, right? But that was like more of a what is it called visual update, right? Than champion change. I know it's a bad example because Sivir is actually fine in comparison to a lot of other AD carries, but you get my point. Like, you can make some of these champions really cool, I think, if you just rework them. Because their kit is kind of cool, but it's like, it's just not 2020. Yeah, new Jin would be fucking sick, right? His kit is insane. Like, Jin is one of the, like, Jin is one of the champions, I feel like, has so much only to him. No one else in the game has what he has. But he's also outdated, so it's a bit strange when you play him, right? 
it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like you're playing League of Legends in 2020. And it feels like you just went back four years and everyone else is playing 2020 and you're just dying all the time to the 2020s. So they need to make him a 2020 as well. <laughs> I feel like we're saying 2020 a lot now. And don't get me wrong, Jin is amazing. I like him a lot. I just feel like he could be more updated, you know, with how he functions, he moves, he like it could be small things like his trap, for example. He, it's always to me felt really weird, and I'm sure they could make that super cool. Like sort of what they did with Caitlyn, right? Like compare Ka Caitlyn's old traps versus her new traps is night and day. I'm sure you could do something similar with Jin's traps. So what the fuck do we play against this? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I could flip it. No, I have to pick a Philos here. I wanted to flip it and pick um, Twitch, but if he doesn't pick Astral, then... It's gonna be awkward. Twitch would have been a sick pick this game. Fuck! I should have just I should have just yoloed it, man. Like I know I can get really fucked if he doesn't pick Astral then, but Twitch Lulu still. Like what can he actually pick to fuck me then? I mean we can just fight this. I have eight conquer stacks already. But we didn't have to go so crazy, no? Just fight slow, like... Started off pretty good, I think. I would trade, but... I don't want to die to Trundle, so... Like, I, I, is it worth, you think? Not sure if that's much better, to be honest. It's a banger, but I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, because I knew he was behind me, right? So if I go trade the Astral there, I feel like I die 100%. But now I was like... I mean, he was still in the edge, right? But I had a chance of outplay. If I walked up, I would not have a chance of outplay. Oh, we can do some settings now. So, print screen... I mean, I guess like this, yeah. Uh, I mean, then. we do that one after. <laughs> hey, you got two. You know the game is won when I get attack speed boots on first base. We've been here before. We've been here before. No counterplay. Let's go trade. Fucking god. That sucks. So videos like this. Like this. And like this. I guess these ones count by their default. So. Interface. I'm trying to show it slow. Relatively slow. But I also have to play the game. It's a trundle, right? But he can come in with fucking Nimbus Cloak and just be annoying. That's good. But flash off this guy as well. That's not good. <laughs> okay, I can do hotkeys now. 
So here's nothing because I have done it down here, so the game automatically removes that. So I have Alt plus Q to F for normal cast. Quick cast is basically normal cast. Uh, and then I have self cast on Shift, Q to F. And then I have here level up spell, it's mouse 5 for champions only. And then I have whatever it is next to 1 for my trinket. Same thing there, normal cast is on Alt plus whatever the thing is left to 1 to 6. Oh. I mean, I'm really happy with that. I use both ults. That's so good for me. I have red gun as well for a bit more, so I can just life steal this. That resets my shurikens. That's really good. Okay. okay, maybe I'm going a bit too crazy now. It's time to back. I really wanted to flash on him, but I think uh, so. What I'm worried about here is I have Barrier in 3 seconds, right? And I know we use Barrier at the same time, but he has Inspiration. Which means um, he should have it earlier than me. And it's kind of scary, not knowing, for sure. And that's just kind of scary, because if I go in, I have 5 seconds on mine and he has his, then it's just going to be awkward, you know? Awkward and shitty. Oh yeah, so left to 1, there's a button. Uh, that I have Trinket for, and then it's Alt for normal cast. And then Quick Cast is basically what I use normally. Same buttons. Self Cast, I have this. Very rarely ever use that, but it's blinded in case. Nice, I couldn't move, but nice. Uh, then I have Space for centering my champion. F1 to 4. For checking my teammates. Up, down, left, right is my like my arrows. Let's move the camera around. Very rarely use that as well. Mm, I entered it, I think. Yeah. I think we're good, one for one. I didn't win that. Oh, maybe not now. Just back, just back. Astro Yumi will be really annoying here. Shit, that was not good. He's gonna have E again. Nice. Maybe, oh, that she's out as well. She can't. W yet. I'm the uh, display, nothing, communication, these are my pings, it's alt or control, and then I have the emotes or whatever you call them, mouse 4 for area awarded, set for chat, T for emote wheel, these are default, I think. An item shop should be just default as well. Also, this should not be on. Oh, just a wrench. He has almost no mana, so I'm just gonna click barrier for an Nimbus, I think. He still has mana to go, this is stupid. He still has mana to go, but he still has mana to go. Um, dead, yeah. 
Fuck my life. I'm not gonna flash on that. Yeah, that's super nice, right? Just do national, national Drake. 